एवरी वन वेलकम टू यर मैथ्स क्लास यस्टरडे वी सॉ वॉट आर द इंटीजर्स सो वॉट आर द इंटीजर्स इंटीजर्स आर ऑल नैचुरल नंबर्स जीरो एंड निगेटिव काउंटिंग नंबर्स सो माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री डॉट 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 आर इंटीजर्स now today we are going to see about the properties of addition of integers so which are these properties let's see so first property is closure property so what is this closure property see if i'll add any two integers so whatever answer i'll be getting that is also an integer means if i'll add 3 plus 6 over here i'll be getting 9 So three, six, and nine all are the integers. Similarly, if I'll add three and minus six, I'll be getting minus three. So that means three minus six and minus three, all these are integers. So what is the closure property? The sum of the integers is also an integer. This is the closure property. So this is very first property of addition of integers. Now we'll see what is the second property. Second property is commutative property. Now what is this property? See here, I added these two integers, five plus seven. If I'll add five plus seven, I'll be getting twelve. And if I'll change the order of these two integers. That is, if I add seven plus five, again I will be getting twelve. So our second example here, I will add minus five plus seven. So what will be getting two? If I will change the order of these integers, that is, if I write seven plus minus five, again I will be getting two. So what do you understand by these examples? the sum of integers remains the same whatever be the order of integers that is the sum on both sides remains equal irrespective of the order of integers so what do you understand by this addition is commutative for integers this is called as the commutative property i hope all of you understood what is commutative property now let us see the third property that is associative property so what is this associative property see here i have taken three integers so we'll add 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay now see first i'll add 1 plus 2 i'll be getting 3 so 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 Similarly, if I will change the bracket, means if I'll add first two plus three, I'll be getting here five, and five plus one, again I'll be getting six. Okay. Now see the another example. Here three integers I have taken. That is one plus minus two plus three. Okay. We'll start to add them. See here I put bracket for. Minus two plus three. So first we'll solve this bracket. So what will we getting? So one plus minus two plus three. Answer of this bracket is plus one. So one plus one. I'll be getting two. Right? Now I'll solve this bracket first. One plus minus two. I'll be getting minus one. Minus one plus three. Is equals to two. So, what do you understand by these two examples? The sum of integers remains the same irrespective of the order of addition. This is said to be associative property. Now, we'll see about additive identity. Now, what is this additive identity? Additive identity of integers is a number which, when added to any integer, 
does not change the value of integer means what see here i have written some examples for example 5 plus 0 is equals to 5 right and 0 plus 5 is equals to 5 similarly minus 6 plus 0 is equals to 0 plus minus 6 is equals to minus 6 so what is additive identity so additive identity is 0 over here so that is additive identity of integers is 0 so what is additive identity we will repeat additive identity of integers is a number which when added to any integer does not change the value of the integer means here again I repeat if I will add 0 in 5 the value will remain the same that integer will remain the same here if I will add 0 in minus 6 the answer I will be getting as minus 6 only so additive identity of any integers is 0 now we will see what is the next property our next property is additive inverse. So what is additive inverse? Inverse means reciprocal. Okay. But here we are going to see about additive inverse. So what is additive inverse? The sum of an integer and its additive inverse is always 0. Okay. So that is C. For example, 6 plus minus 6 is equals to 0. So, additive inverse of 6 is minus 6 and additive inverse of minus 6 is 6. So, from this example you can understand that the additive inverses are generally they are opposite numbers of each other. See, for example, if I will take minus 5. So, what is the additive inverse of minus 5? It will be 5. Okay. And the additive inverse of 5 will be minus 5 because if I will add these two numbers I will be getting 0 so these are said to be additive inverse so I repeat additive inverse means the sum of an integer and its additive inverse is always 0 so additive inverse of any integer is a number which when added to the integer gives additive identity c0 is a additive identity when you are when you are going to add that number and its inverse you will be getting answer as additive identity just we saw that additive identity of the integers is zero that means sum of integers and the additive inverse of that integer is always additive identity now here we have done with the properties of addition of integers. Now we will see what is our next topic. We are going to see now properties of subtraction of integers. So which are these properties? Let us see. See in addition of integer we saw that the first property is closure property. Similarly here also the first property is closure property of subtraction so see what is that property let's see see here i subtracted two integers three minus six what is my answer minus three similarly see the second example i subtracted minus nine and seven over here so what is my answer minus 16 so what do you understand by these two examples the difference of any two integers is also an integer. This is said to be closure property. Okay. So the difference of integers is also an integer. So integers are closed under subtraction. This is called as the closure property. So in addition what was the second property? It was the commutative property. Right? In commutative property, we saw that if we will add any two integers anyhow, the answer will remain the same. So, is it applicable for subtraction also? Let us see. Commutative property. Okay? Here I have written two examples. See, 4 minus 5. If I will subtract these two integers, 
what I'll be getting? I'll be getting here minus 1. Right? Here I'll be getting minus 1. Right? And if I'll change the order. Right? If I'll subtract 5 minus 4. What will be getting? 1. So are they equal? They are not equal. This is minus 1 and this is 1. Right? See the next example also. Here I have written 1 minus minus 2. That means we subtracted 1 and minus 2. So what will be getting? We will be getting 1 plus 2. That is 3. Right? And here if I will change the order. That means minus 2 minus 1. If I will write what will be getting? See minus 2 minus 1 will be getting minus 3. Are these two numbers equal? Are these two integers equal? No. So what do you understand by this? Subtraction is not commutative for integers. Means difference of any two numbers changes if the order of integers changed. Got it? Again I repeat. The difference of two numbers changed if the order of integers is changed. So, subtraction is not commutative for integers. That means this property is not applicable for subtraction of integers. Got it? I will see what was the third property in addition of integers that is associative property. So we will check whether it is applicable for subtraction also or not. Okay. See. Here. I have taken one example. See. 1 minus inside the bracket 2 minus 3 is equals to. That means I have taken 3 integers. We subtracted 3 integers. 1, 2, 3. Right. So let us see how to subtract them. 1 minus 2 inside the bracket. Sorry. 1 minus inside the bracket 2 minus 3. So first we will solve this bracket. Right. So I will be getting 1 minus. Answer of this bracket is minus 1 is equals to 1 plus 1. That is equals to 2. Right. Now we will change the brackets. That means we will write first two integers inside the bracket. Right. So here 1 minus 2 minus 3. Okay. Is equal to. First we will solve this bracket. So 1 minus 2. That means minus 1. And this minus 3. So minus 1 minus 3 is equals to minus 4. Okay. Now are these two answers same? Here we got 2. Here we got minus 4. Are they same? No. So what do you understand by this? See. 1 minus inside the bracket 2 minus 3 is not equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3. Okay. So what do you understand by this property? See. Subtraction is not associative for integers. Right. Right. 